did a number of enhancements. <coughs> One thing I did was to, with the frame, is to use miter joints, and uh, this, this gives us the ability to control the size better. So this is a, a cube, it's actually uh, 27 inches on each side. Uh, what I've also done <coughs> is rearranged uh, with the where the components go, and I have uh, increased the size of the fuel tank. This one is a fuel tank right here. This is a hydraulic reservoir. So I made them both the same size. Uh, one, one of the benefits of this is, is that this, this tubing right here, <coughs> when you, know, you go to buy this tubing, it, it, it only comes in 20 foot lengths. And it, it's pretty expensive when you buy a 20 foot length of this, this tubing. And uh, so what this does, it, it lets us use it two times per power cube, so you get more utility out of this tubing. Um, then also I took all of the controls for it and I clustered it over here, so you can see we have the, the fuel tank filler, the key, throttle, the hydraulic uh, output power, and this is a return and a tank return. And then uh, this is the uh, filler for the uh, hydraulic fuel fluid. And then also we got the, the fuel, the hydraulic oil filter right here. So I tried as much as possible to cluster all the you controls. You can show the reach point to these. You just get in cutaways, I reckon. Well, I kind of wanted to go like in and out. This is explaining it, so it's more kind of like. Ready? Okay. Okay. So we have the fuel tank filler, the key switch, the throttle, this is the hydraulic output, this is a hydraulic return, and this is a tank return, low pressure return, and this is the hydraulic oil uh, filler. And then we put the hydraulic fuel oil filter right here. So uh, I tried as much as possible to cluster all of the controls and the, the maintenance items right here up front. Uh, also, uh, one nice feature of it, and this you might want to zoom in for, <coughs> is the engine is mounted on a plate in between these two tanks, and I have vibration mounts in between. So this, this gives uh, vibration isolation for the engine. Um, we also use a uh, oil cooler over here, and, and the fan that we have on it's an electric fan, and it has a thermostatic switch on it, so that it only cuts on when the oil reaches a certain temperature. And then, of course, when the oil cools down, then the, the switch cuts off. So the enhancement that we do have is this right here is a commercial muffler. Uh, the original power cube used two small mufflers, and so this, this is uh, one that I bought from the same supplier.